Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this blessed moment in the celebration of life of your servant, co liberal father, pastor, and all the positions he occupied while he was here with us. We give you all the glory for his life in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, bless us with your word, strengthen our hearts, comfort our souls, give us hope for tomorrow. Let all these and many more blessings be our portion this morning. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Please get seated. Get excited, everybody. If you can, a big shout to the Lord. And a clap unto him as well. Amen. I want to especially count it a privilege this morning before God and before our spiritual father, a great leader of repute across the globe, a person of Bishop Michael Ongo. His heart, the assignment given to him by God to oversee our co labor, Pastor Taibo Obuhoya, and the Fountain of Life Church. I want to thank God for how he has stood very firm and strong in encouraging the church. So, we feel very proud of the ministry. My privilege also. He directed me to be here to share God's word with us this morning, and that I don't take lightly. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Sitting here also this morning, another general, wonderful leader, and a mentor to many, in the person of Pastor Matthew. <laughs> I'm going to stop at this point uh, because I know at some point we'll be having introductions of other dignitaries that are here with us this morning. But before I round it up, I'd like to bring very special goodwill, words of consolation and strength from my spiritual father, mm -hmm. the president of Living Faith Church Worldwide. In the person of Bishop David Oyebo and his wife, who also endorsed my interview this morning on his behalf. May the church be blessed. Amen. Say loud amen. 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 To the wonderful children of our pastor who just passed on to glory, the Lord will keep you. Amen. This is a different part of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumber. He will keep all of you. Yeah. All family members, the Lord will keep you. Yeah. And for the church, no fear, no shame. Yeah. Because the church belongs to Jesus. He said, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. God can't be building and the gate of hell will be isolated. What more? God only used his servant, Pastor Tyler will be quiet. I say this with all respect to him, to found the church. Jesus, the builder, is still awake. And whatsoever he does shall be forever. So this church shall be forever. Oh, I thought somebody said the wrong thing. I said, this church, as it is with other churches, shall be forever standing strong. Watch it, church. Fresh oil is coming on this church. Fresh grace is coming on this trip. Pastor Tyro finished his work and he left. But the work continues. And the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. This church will never know a better yesterday. Another big hand for Jesus. Now, 
just as every journey has a start, it also has an end. The starting point of life is past. That's what